What's up guys, Alex here with another video and someone requested a tutorial on a little effect uh, that's really easy and it's really simple and it's an effect that a lot of people tend to use when they're showcasing uh, their software because um, it gets a little fancy and it looks pretty good so to give an example of what I'm talking about here's a little video and if you look at the, um, the software trailer you can see that it's a screen capture but it's rotated at an angle so that you can get that extra uh, effect going on there so to do that it's really simple so I'm gonna go ahead and head on into Sony Vegas and I have a screen capture of the same uh, program called FL Studio and what we want to do is use the 3D perspective tool in Sony Vegas so if you go to your compositing options which is this little icon right here I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and check 3D source alpha that's gonna allow you to um, give this little video a 3D orientation um, or rotation. So once you uh, select a 3D source alpha, you want to go ahead and go into your track motion. And one thing to know is the rotation and orientation of the X, Y, and Z axis. So if you're rotating this video along the Y axis, which is um, a horizontal imaginary line, it's going to rotate and tilt forward. So if you don't know what that looks like, I'm going to go ahead and show you. So as you can see, it's tilting forward, or you can make it tilt backward if you set it to a negative value. And the y-axis, which is this imaginary little line going vertically down, uh, you're rotating basically the video from side to side. And this is the rotation that we're basically going to use for this little effect. So I'm going to go ahead and set this negative y value to uh, something around negative 15. And once you've done that, as you can see, there's little black uh, spots and areas around the video. Uh, so to fix that, what we need to do is adjust uh, this little box right here. So um, we're going to have to move the video a little bit more to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, position on the x-axis and set it to a negative value. And of course, if you've done a little math, you obviously need to use the x and y axis. Uh, remember, this is the y axis. If you go up, you're setting it to a positive value. If you're setting it down, it's going to a negative value. And for the x axis, if you're going to the right, uh, you're going to set a positive value. And if you're setting it to the left, you're setting a negative value. So in this case, that's why we're setting a negative value for the x position. See, 110 should be enough and after you've done that as you can see it, there's still a little black uh, area around the left side of the video and what we need to do is zoom in on the video so to do that uh, we're gonna go ahead and select any one of these corners four corners of this little rectangular box here and we're gonna go ahead and click on it and we're gonna drag it out and as you can see it looks uh, exactly like the same effects that they used in the uh, sample video right here and a lot of people like to um, instead of just having it like hold on what happened alright so and if, instead of having it like you know just sit there a lot of people like to animate it so what we're gonna do is um, what you can do is uh, set it at a point you know, maybe set it right here and then go forward in time and make the zoom a little bit bigger. So over time it's slowly zooming in. Or what you can do is, I'm going to go ahead and delete this keyframe. What you can do is drag the cursor forward in time and you can actually. Uh, set the position a different value for the Y position so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of scan this video up and set it to a positive or negative value let's see how that looks so as you can see it's slowly moving up and it also looks great because it's at an angle and not a really um, not a boring one-dimensional um, video so one thing to note 
when you're using this effect is that anytime um, or sometimes when you move around your video the keyframes don't follow along with it um, basically what you need to do if this happens is manually uh, manually uh, move the keyframes along with it so there are these little um, dots if you still can't see them you should click on this uh, expand track keyframes option and it'll they'll enlarge the keyframes for you uh, so basically if this happens you need to manually move uh, the keyframes along with the video but in most cases um, Sony Vegas will track and um, uh, match the keyframes along with the video so I hope you guys like this tutorial if you did make sure you hit that like button and my next tutorial will probably be a uh, animated arrows tutorial I'll upload a preview of that later on so anyways if you like this video please comment on it and share it with your friends and I will see you guys next time